Hello everybody, my name is Chase Huckel, and I am the College Conservative. So here's what's pretty interesting. Uh, a, I never realized how many actual conservatives are on this campus. Because today, I decided, you know what, I'm going to have political science again. I figured I am going to wear my Greg Walden shirt to my political science class. And uh, because the reason being is because on the first day there, we actually talked about Greg Walden while we were in class. And I thought that was pretty awesome. Which is really cool considering Greg Walden is my old boss. He's a great guy, by the way. Anyway, uh, I wore it today and I got a whole bunch of compliments on it. Uh, like two or three people actually just said, Hey, is that, so you like Greg Walden? I go, yeah, he's my old boss. And they're like, oh, no way. I met some of the people there. Uh, there was one guy that said, yeah, I know Nick. And another guy who said, yeah, I know Margie. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know both of them. They're both really cool. And that was something that was just really neat for me, you know, because, you know, working in the campaign, which I've documented before here on the channel. And I just thought it was something that was just so, so neat. And then I also had economics today. Now, before I thought economics was both boring and interesting at the same time, but it's getting to the point where I'm starting to understand it more and finding find it to where it's more interesting than it is boring. And I've learned, guess what, not to procrastinate. I've gotten most of my stuff done. I still have a little bit to do. And the reason why I still have a little bit to do is because I went to the mandatory meeting in the hall. Turns out it was the wrong mandatory meeting. Ours isn't until like next week or something. But I still went anyway. But it was still awesome. But what's interesting is that uh, today there was also a, um, a teacher versus student volleyball game. Now what's neat about this is that uh, the whole point was that you dress up in Hawaiian, so I was wearing an Aquaman hat, this super tacky uh, uh, shirt, and uh, pineapple shorts, which I think was pretty comical. So now you may be wondering why in the world have I been recording in this uh, frame the entire time? Well, the reason being is because I used this tote for one of the coolest things that I have ever done that has everything to do with what I did over the summer. Now, what did I do over the summer? I worked hard in order to save up enough money in order to get myself here. And I think it's really what's uh, humorous to me, at least, is I go downstairs just to socialize and take a break from my studies because you're supposed to do that every now and then. It's supposed to help clear your mind so you can actually wrap your brain around things better. So I, uh, I go downstairs and the kitchen sink downstairs, which is like the kitchen that everybody uses, the kitchen sink is plugged. Holy sh What's the one thing that I've been doing throughout the entirety of, of my summer working? I've been unclogging drains. <laughs> It's one of the mo one of the most recent things that I learned. So, since I didn't have a Burton, and I didn't have a snake, and I didn't have any of my tools, I figured, okay, I can MacGyver my way out of this one. So what do I do? I get this bucket, and I try to find, see, something, I, something like a wire or something I could shove down inside. I didn't want to use any of my electronics because I really care about my electronics, so I went next door to my dorm. Uh, to my neighbors there, knocked on the door, lady answered, and I said, hey, do any of you have a wire coat hanger? I need one unplugged sink. Sure enough, they had one. So I run downstairs, shove my bucket underneath, take off the trap, everything drains down in. It was weird. I have been on some of the nastiest jobs you can imagine, but this one was just gross. Oh my god. I don't know what it was. This one was just insanely gross for me. Um, but it all drains into the bucket, and then I take the wire coat hanger, and I jam it down inside, and I pull back, because you know, the coat hanger's got that hook on it, so I was able to actually work it in there, almost like an auger, you know, or a drill, like those like those old school drills, you know, that they would like shove into the wood, and then they would uh, rotate, 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 I did it just like that, with a wire coat hanger with a hook on the end, and I did that, did that, did that, shoved it down inside, and I pulled back a tube of hair about yay big. So I unclogged the sink using a coat hanger and a bucket. <laughs> How awesome is that, Dad? Come on, right here, right here, man. Oh, wait, right here. Boom. 
boom, boom, boom. My dad is going to be like so proud of me when he watches this. I guarantee it. Oh, dad, show this to Robert, Josh, and, um, oh, oh my God, and Ross. Robert, Josh, and Ross, show it to those guys. I'm pretty sure they're going to be like so proud of me because of this. Um, I just find it, for those of you who, um, who don't know who they are, those are my coworkers from Hugles Incorporated. The highest rated uh, plumbing company in Southern Oregon, which I think is pretty neat. I, I just find it absolutely insane, though. You know, the stuff that becomes useful when nobody else knows what to do. And you know, I think that should be the lesson for today. Surround yourself with information that may... <laughs> what is it? Um, what is it? Let me think here for a second. Sherlock Holmes. Okay. In the Sherlock Holmes books, Sherlock Holmes talks about things that are useful. He says that every mind, a man's mind, is like an attic. When you fill an attic with too much stuff, often you throw things out because they have no use. So therefore, you should fill your mind with things that are useful and things that will become useful in the future. Therefore, you're not going to throw anything out. Sure, you may forget who actor was in what, but you remember things that are important like how to unclog a sink, what to do in an emergency, things that are important. So I leave you today with that message. Number one, I had a great day today. Number two, I had a great day today because I literally unclogged the sink. With, with, I think it was like just like five minutes ago. That's why I was like cleaning out this because I literally moved in with this bucket and I didn't want it to just stink up my room and make it smell like rice and noodles. Oh, by the way, don't put rice and noodles down your uh, down your sink. That's, that's a very bad thing. Not 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 good. Not good at all. They all expand in water. So. I think I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Please click subscribe for more update videos like this, and please ring that notification bell. It would mean a lot to me. Also, I have some merch available over on Represent. If you want to come, if you want more designs for merch on Represent, leave a comment down below. I'll make sure I read every single comment that comes my way. It's absolutely true. I spend, uh, what is it, <laughs> when I got like thousands of comments on the uh, Spooky Scary Skeletons video, I spent it just hours reading all the comments. So leave a comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. And remember,